Hey guys, it's your old pal Raider Sue 2011 again. Well, I've been looking back on some of the videos on the MAC and I started thinking, if I'm not careful, I'm probably going to wind up with a copyright lawsuit, so, uh, I'm going to start making a habit to, to, um, uh, what was I doing with this? Oh, yeah. I'm going to start making a habit to tell every time when a certain character you would recognize that doesn't belong to me would show up I'm gonna make a point that uh, that character wouldn't belong to me it belongs to such and such studios or such and such entertainment or such and such comics but enough about me let's get to Let's get to the guys that you that you uh, uh, that you click to see today. All right, here's where we left off. So now some of you might find this religiously offending, but this is my depiction of Jesus Christ. But when you look back in the Bible, it kind of makes sense because Jesus fought in a lot of wars, so kind of makes sense. Anyway, here's Jonah Hicks. Just like I said before, this guy doesn't belong to me. He belongs to DC Comics, but I like to draw. So, there you go. If you've seen the movie Jonah Hex, you would know that Jonah was a... I'm not sure if he was a Confederate or a Union soldier, but... Well, that's why he looks like that. And here's Josh in a bad mood. That guy doesn't belong to me. He's Kano, and he belongs to Midway, but... Like I said before, I like to draw. So you probably get the message. The main idea is that whoever's in a good mood when Josh is in a bad mood, things aren't going to be real fun. Here's Ermac. This is by far my favorite version of Ermac because, uh, well, this is the first version of Ermac I ever seen. And I kind of like him like this. Here's the Mortal Kombat Deception version of Scorpion. There's a spear, but sadly the legs got a little too big for the page, so I uh, hope you like the way he is. Here's the Mortal Kombat Deception version of Sub-Zero. Here's the Mortal Kombat Decep Deception version of Noob Cybot. Now this guy got way too big for the page because I was looking at a picture of him when I was drawing him and he got a 
a little bit too big for the page. So that's noob. Here's smoke. Now this is by far my favorite version of of smoke, the Mortal Kombat 9 version, because uh, it sort of gives people the human version. But I mean, it gives people what they want when Smoke won't undergo the cyber cyber initiative. Here's rain. Now this I got really imaginative on. This is sort of a Mortal Kombat Armageddon slash Mortal Kombat 9 version of Reptile. Because you would have the Mortal Kombat Armageddon legs and arms and mask. But the costume is from the classic classic Mortal Kombat Ninja outfit. I'm not sure if it's downloadable content or something like that. But, in my opinion, I think uh, nah. I don't want to get into my opinions. Because some people might get offended. But here's K MK9 Katai and the Mortal Kombat uh, Deadly Alliance outfit. I kind of like her like this because I was thinking, hey, wouldn't you look good in uh, the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance outfit, so, to me she looks pretty good, but I'll leave the opinions up to you guys, so feel free to comment. I was looking for the same idea with Jade, but I sort of lost track of what I was doing. So this is just the flat-out MK9 version. Now here's the MK9 Molina and the MKDA Katana outfit. All except for the boots, because I sort of got confused on that. I was thinking, wait a minute. I don't think those boots go well with the outfit, but like I said before, I'll leave the opinions up to you guys. Oh, this is my favorite one. When it comes to the apocalypse in the MAC, there are two sides to every man. The combative side and the civil side. This is my civil side. I'm a farmer basically, but even the civil side has a combative side, so this guy is ready to take no crap from no one. But He's farming for a reason. I'm farming for a reason, anyway. My mom is sick, so, uh... The h crops we harvest always, uh... get sold in town, and... and, uh... and, uh money that gets returned to us goes to 
a mom's hospital bill. We're not sure what kind of disease it is, but she's been bedridden for quite a long time. So it's pretty bad. Here's the main house. There's four parts. The main house, the tractor garage, the kennel, and the s supply storehouse. In the family, there's me, Mom, LaDonna, and Tyler. LaDonna's my little sister. And you would know Tyler. So... There's a problem with this livelihood. The local kids always try to steal our crops, but we always fire off our gun, fire off our guns to scare them off, but not for long, because they always come back. So they become a real thorn on our side, so to speak. And here's Tyler. I'll tell you what he's thinking. Corn, wheat, beans, soy, fruit, cattle, hogs, chickens, rabbits. There's just no rest for a guy like me. Of course mom is sick. And the damn kids always steal our crops. So I'm going to have to s suck it up and deal with them until season. When the 1D boys bring in our pay Mom's hospital bills are paid, and the kids leave us the hell alone. So you can tell that. And Tyler doesn't really like this life. But he cares for Mom, so... He always looks to the bright side. And the family farming business. He's a harvester and the tractor driver. As for me, I'm the family breadwinner, so... As for Madonna, we trust her with, with managing the money with, and with crop transport. That means once, once uh, crops have been harvested once the crops have been harvested they'll be taken into town to be sold and she's also the crop duster and she's a better shot than me or Ty getting into the basics of the mace. Here's the basic soldier for the army branch. There's the pilot. the marine and there's the Navy SEAL so that's Army, Air Force, Marines and Navy the four branches
begin in the end. Because these guys have been a real thorn on our side since the apocalypse, so. We'll give you the basic ranks. Here's a here's sort of the scout, the the sort of the scout, the the assassin, the long range assault. Basically, this is an assassin from the video game Enclave. These guys don't belong to me. As mentioned earlier, they belong to Cons Conspiracy Entertainment and Starbreeze Studios. But you would know that. These guys, these guys have always been giving us trouble. We can't usually see where they're shooting from, but. We usually have an idea once our guy has been hit. But usually panic ensues and the guy is shooting all different directions, so it's kind of hard to hit the target when you can't tell where it is. Now this is the main workhorse of the Dragatar. The Bombardier. Or the orc, eh? Yeah. Here's what he looks like all, all together. Now, I guess I decided to go in a different direction with the Berserkers because the Ogres were were too big, too heavy, and too slow. So she needed something light, fast, and deadly. And that's where she decided to get into get into grave robbing. This is a reanimated corpse. Because she usually brands the corpse's stomach with, with the Dragatar flag once the, once the corpse has come alive. And she had some blades in the arms just for added effect. Duh. God, I sound like... God, I sound like I don't really want to be here today. But once you've done two or three videos of this, you kind of get used to it. Here's the goblin or the dragatar engineer. Now these guys are now these little guys are real nasty pieces of work. But I don't want to get in too detail, detailed about them. Now here's the lich, and well, if you believe in Irish legend, these guys command the dead, so to speak. And these guys are usually the main firepower of the Dragatar. Alongside a alongside the sorceress, but I kinda spaced spaced that one off. So we're gonna have to sell for this. And this is one of the Dragatar's most feared pieces of technology. Dra Dragatar leg trap. 
The way it's built, it's supposed to trick the mace into thinking that the guy who sprung the trap had, the, had his leg crushed flat. When you, But when you look close, you'll notice one row of spikes in each side. That's where the rick that's where the work really comes in. When, it, when the guy springs the trap and struggles, the, the spikes tear up the guy's calf, so it would, he would really be hurt. Now I bet you're wondering, how does he get out? Well, there's three ways. Pry the trap open, saw your leg off, or shoot it off. Either way, his leg is really hurt when he gets, off, gets out of it. Yep. These guys are the Viet Cong of, of the Apocalypse Era. So, but this next guy, man, I really hate him. But he's a major contributor to the to the Dragatar workforce. But like I said, I really hate this guy. But he doesn't belong to me. He belongs to Disney. Horn King. Ugh. God, I really. Now I bet you're wondering, why do you hate him? Well, have you looked at him? I mean... When I was really young, about five, maybe six, and this movie came out, and the Black Cauldron movie came out, this guy really scared the living crap out of me. I mean, he gave me nightmares three, maybe four nights in a frickin' row. After that, I couldn't even sleep. All I have to say about this guy is that he really su- Uh, no wait. All I have to say about this guy is that Disney really succeeded in scaring the living crap out of me. This guy is hell's winner, in my opinion. But in the in the maze, thankfully I don't have to put up with that, because once I come into a face-to-face -face confront confront sorry confrontation with this guy, it doesn't go really well for him. I well. I'm going to warn you now, the graphics, uh, no wait, the details are really graphic. I dug out, dug out his eyes with a, a utility knife, made him choke on him, and smashed his head in, quite literally. Right then he went to hell, quite literally. And, uh, and here's what he looks like when he gets to hell. He ain't quite done yet, but once he is, I'll get detailed about him. Now, this is Jason, you know, the Jason from way back here. This guy. So this is what he looks like unmasked. Now you're probably thinking, well, he doesn't look that bad. Well, I agree with you. Like I said, he's gone through a completely different timeline. 
he didn't drown, he didn't kill all those teenagers, but during the apocalypse I warned, tried to warn everybody about the apocalypse and uh, tried to get to the president to broadcast the broadcast the warning to the UN, the United Nations, and every one of them call me a crock. But very few people believe me. This guy and uh, his mother, Pamela Voorhees, they didn't think I was a crock. They believed every word I said. But I was a little too late because once the broadcast was complete, the apocalypse happened. She didn't survive, but he did, but he wound up being horribly disfigured. So, the pages before that are blank, so that's about it. I'm going to make you an offer. I don't usually do this, but... I usually do this when people I can trust, like my closest friends. So, uh... This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer, so, uh... I'm going to make myself clear. <clears throat> I'm going to be taking suggestions for MAC... Mace characters. And I'm also going to be answering some questions like, like maybe, who is the Mace? What event m made them? Well, feel free to ask questions or make suggestions in the comment section below. So, Hope you enjoy them, and I'm really looking forward to your suggestions.